the first thing you notice if you open the USDA hogs and pigs, there was a box at the top of the report that said, oh, we had to revise some data. So uh, the 20, actually they revised clear back to 2019. So um, I'll just run through those. The, uh, uh, the December one inventory from 2019, so from two years ago was revised downward 1.4 million head. The March one inventory from 2020 was revised down a million head. I'll just give you the highlights here. The June 1, 2021 report was revised down 1,250,000. So that's, um, that likely was a March, uh, that was a March, May, part of that was a March, May pig crop uh, revision down 350,000 heads. So again, the, the reason the USDA does this is to try to true up to, to what hog slaughter was and to what the current survey showed them. So those are two of the criteria that they're that they're looking at when they make revisions like this. Uh, but as we all know, 2020 was not a normal year by any stretch, uh, especially the uh, April June period when we had a lot of uh, downtime. April June of 2020, we had a lot of downtime uh, in uh, in the slaughter plants, which messed up, you know, trying to compare pig crops and slaughter, and so. They're just doing their best to try to keep these, these data trued up to what to what we had. And like Steve said, recent slaughter has been down about 5%. So again, that's kind of the, the latest litmus test that we have to work on. So I uh, don't know that this will mean a lot to the market, uh, except that you know some of our percentage changes, which the market likes to look at a lot, some of our percentage changes comparisons to a year ago will be affected by when they go back and revise last year's data, it'll make that look. So again, it's really helpful to look at the actual raw data uh, uh, most of the time anyway. So uh, that's all I have on the revisions.